Hey guys. So this isn't a surprise party. No one said it was. Why would you think that? You called me and said, Come quick, you need to see this. Translation, surprise party. I'm telling you right now, Winston, I'm gonna have to repent no matter what we decide on. This might be a no redemption situation. Abraham, we've been robbed. They stole the picture of my glorious bazaar. Winston, what did you do? I knew it was him. It was an inside job. What? Inside job? Now, hold on, everybody. Let's not jump to conclusions. Obviously, Reverend Quote Obama's struggling. The man drives a Pontiac. It was not me. I didn't call you all here to point fingers. Besides, if I were to suspect anyone, it would be Abraham. He's been pretty open about rooting against us and plotting against us, and has openly said he would sell us out in any situation. Whoa, 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 whoa. I just want to leave this church and be successful someday. I don't want to hurt all of you. I'd be lying if I didn't say that it's tearing me up inside that my poster was stolen, but as long as it's bringing somebody the joy that it brought all of us, then let God's will be done. Mm -hmm. I can't believe they stole by championships and by Ray-Bans. Winston has those knockoff Prada sunglasses because he doesn't understand the value of value. That is. Leave Winnie Cubom and his Nada glasses alone. <gasps> they take my gas mask, but they leave the cowboy hat? Was it not good enough? This feels personal. I was targeted. <sighs> Winston, have you called the local authorities or perhaps a private investigator? No, somebody call the equalizer. Pastor, the equalizer is not a real person. I'm sorry. You just don't want to bring the heat. Well, I don't want to point out the obvious, but I noticed the pastor has a new scarf, but still doesn't own shoes. Now, I don't want to come against the man of God, but he's my cousin, so I can do that. Devondrius, when we were little, you stole two of my Power Rangers and some of my Ninja Turtles toys. And to this very morning, I had to pray and fast and fast and pray to find it in my heart to forgive you day in and day out. But brother, don't let these robes fool you, because I like you up right now. I feel like I should stop that, but I want it to happen. Guys, calm down. I was just as upset that Winston ruined my surprise party. Again, it wasn't a surprise party. We're supposed to discuss the telethon for Lifeline Restoration Ministries that's happening on April 17th at 12 to 9 p.m. It's a building fund telethon, and if you'd like to participate, you can donate and help us out along the way. That's what we're supposed to discuss today. Remember? I just called my brass knuckles guy. Bad news. I still owe him money. Join the club. The police just pulled up outside. Why? Good, good job, Reverend. I'm glad you decided to give yourself up, Daddy. I didn't want to do what I set my mind to already. We will write you every day, Reverend Cordobon. Oh, God forgive me, that was a lie. We'll write you bi-weekly. They're going to help us find out exactly what happened. And guys, if we're being honest, the only thing we actually owned in this building, besides our personal artifacts, was the table. You're right, Reverend Cordobon. Gentlemen, we are more than a table or some possessions. We are more than a gas mask. We are more than some championships and some ugly sunglasses. We are more than... Hmm. That is suspicious. But I digress. We are Mike Line Restoration Ministries. They devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching and to fellowship, to the breaking of bread and to prayer. Acts 42, verse 2. Gentlemen, as long as we're together and have a place to serve the Lord, or even just serve the Lord in any place, we're going to be all right. We're going to be all right. 